Right, welcome ladies and gents. A few days ago now, Thursday, it was announced very randomly, all of a sudden, that we were going to be getting another Star Wars trilogy. Here it is. This was the exclusive on Deadline. Now, interestingly, I did a report at the time. I said, hey, we're actually due a Disney earnings call in a week. They always do tend to do this, by the way. So, like clockwork, if you go back throughout the last couple of years, again, like clockwork, you will see whenever they've announced something, it's always prior to the earnings call. All right? It's always the same. And out of those projects, the, the, the amount that have actually come to fruition is minuscule. Which has obviously led a lot of people to speculate. Maybe Disney do this in an effort to, one, boost their stock. Because, hey, new Star Wars. Ah, oh, people get excited. Buy stock. Maybe it'll be another banger. Maybe that. Secondly, also to give the, you know, the investors something to to chew on. They can be like, well, we've got this. We're doing this. Doesn't mean it's ever going to happen, but gives them something to chew on at the time, doesn't it? So, at the time this was revealed, again, 7th of November, so a couple of days ago now, and in the report from Deadline, it said, hey, uh, it's going to be a trilogy of films. Simon Kinberg, of all people, Simon Kinberg. What a weird thing to choose as well. Uh, Simon Kinberg will write and direct. And Kathleen Kennedy will produce. Uh, and then there was a statement of, hey, um, this will be episodes 10 and 12 of the Skywalker saga. However, some people have said, no, that's not the case, actually. Uh, this is going to be a brand new saga. So no one actually knew, even the exclusive, didn't know what was going on with that. Now we've got some more information. So we're going to take a look. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Turn the bell notifications on. And if you're returning and you like what I do, support me on Patreon. It's linked down below in the description box. And it's a really, really big help because YouTube loves to demonetize people and censor people. So support me on Patreon for as little as $2 a month. Anyway, so that, that's kind of like the crux of it, right? No one knew exactly what was going on. Was it going to be a continuation of the Skywalker saga? even though there are no longer any Skywalkers, so how is that going to happen? Uh, or is it going to be this brand new thing? No one knows. Well, we've got a report courtesy of uh, EW Entertainment Weekly. Just zoom out of here, sorry guys. Uh, and it says a new Star, uh, Star Wars trilogy outside of the Skywalker saga is in the works. And they released this, at this on the same day, uh, November 7th. So they just did their own video on this their own uh, article on this sorry so what did they say and there's another report by the way that conflicts on this as well so star wars is headed back to the big screen a new trilogy of movies in george lucas's galaxy far far away is in the works from simon kimberg whom entertainment weekly has learned will write and produce the trio of films deadline which first reported the news noted that there were conflicting reports on whether kimberg's films will constitute episodes 10 to 12 of the Skywalker saga and Entertainment Weekly has learned that these movies will be the start of a new saga rather than the continuation of the numbered Star Wars films okay interesting like actually that is interesting if that is the case but wait anyway so Lucasfilm head Kathleen Kennedy will produce the films alongside Kimberg who previously directed the X-Men Dark Phoenix and wrote and produced Fox Marvel projects like Josh Trank's Fant Four Stick and Days of Future Past. So he's fucking atrocious. He's awful. Uh, although most of Kimberg's credits are for producing films like The Martian, Chappie, and Murder on the Orient Express, Star Wars fans should recognize his name from the small screen as he created and executive produced the animated series Star Wars Rebels. But he didn't write any of it. Now he's actually terrible. Although Rebels ended its fourth season. Run right in 2018, its characters have persisted in a variety of blah 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 blah. But what's the uh, what's the additional info? Because I said that there's even more, didn't I? Yeah, there is more. Jesus. So anyway, here we have it, right? Uh, Jeff Snyder of the In Snyder newsletter um, has come out and said, "No, um, there's more information." Snyder says that he's more inclined to side with Deadline's report and believes that these three films will be positioned as 10, 11 and 12. He has also heard that Daisy Ridley will return as Rey and the character will be positioned as the Obi-Wan Kenobi of the new trilogy. 
So they're going to try and pass the mantle down to other people. That sounds an awful lot like their own Shamino Big Chinoy Ray film, doesn't it? That sounds an awful lot like that, doesn't it? That sounds an awful lot like that film, but now they've got someone else to direct it, and they're going to make it into three films. Don't really think that Charmina Bay Chinoy's movie is happening now. And even this article is like, where this would leave Charmina Bay Chinoy's Ray Focus movie, which is expected to be set 15 years after the events of The Rise of Skywalker, is hard to say, but Snyder has heard that Lucasfilm recently hired a new writer to replace Stephen Knight, which would obviously suggest that the project is still moving forward. Yeah, but Daisy Ridley has signed on to a new film project. Now, that matters... Because that's being shopped around. And when it gets bought, they're going to want to end a production. Which means she must have cleared her diary. She can't be shopping around a film with the director. If they can't get it to production soon. So, this is kind of all over the place, actually. This is all over the place. Who to believe, ladies and gents? Who to believe? I mean, I'm going to go with the uh, perspective of, hey, these people are all absolute morons. They couldn't organise a shit in a toilet or a piss up in a brewery or any number of great analogies that just display utter rank incompetence from these morons. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Like, why did you announce a... Why, why are you doing a trilogy of films? Just do one. Just do one that's not a failure. Just do one that's not maligned by everyone. Just do one that's not hated. They're like, no. No, trilogy. Just full steam ahead, trilogy. What? No, stop it. Have an overarching story, but just do one that could be its own thing. These people are fools. So there you go. What else do you say? Who knows what's happening? It doesn't sound... No, no matter what, whether it's a continuation... Or whether it's uh, a new saga, but Ray's going to be the Obi-Wan Kenobi. It doesn't sound like the Daisy Ridley Ray film is happening. It does sound like that is cancelled. Um, yeah, it'll be fascinating to see. But this is a disaster waiting to happen. Obviously. No one cares about Star Wars anymore. The only people that care, the majority of people that watch videos like this, where people are just ripping on it because it's become a disaster. So there you go. I'm done. Leave your thoughts down below. Take care. Bye-bye now.